Marley here with Surf Training Factory. Hey Lucas Marley, back again. I was yes. supposed to say that. <laughs> yes, we were. Awesome. So guys, we're excited to be here. We, um, we had a hiccup last week. Last week, which happens, we and we are okay with it because it's part of running a business. So, no, but you had to keep moving forward. So I apologize for some of you guys that are waiting on Tuesdays. Be like, yes, it's gonna happen, and crickets. Just and go back and maybe listen to one that you missed or something like that. Yeah, if if you're in that case, then just go back to one that you missed or one that you want to re-listen to. Yep. Because sometimes you kind of miss information. Yeah, it's kind of like watching a movie and then you watch you it for the second time and you're like, that wasn't there before. You're like, yeah, of course it was. It's <laughs> yeah. Taped. yeah, you pay attention to certain things and then when you re-watch or you re-listen to it, then you pay attention to other things, which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So, um... Ooh, did you put the phone on airplane mode? <laughs> that one? Yeah. I don't know. That one gets the most phone calls. Okay, well, we'll find out, guys, if the Facebook Live video uh, shuts off. Shuts it's, off. Fault. it's my fault for not putting it on airplane mode. And for you guys listening to podcasts on Podbeans or anywhere else, it doesn't matter. No, it does not. <laughs> so All right. Today we're on episode 27 The Anatomy of a Surf. Yes, we're going to break down what a surfboard is. Well, not is. You guys all know what a surfboard is. It's a surfboard. Yes, but a lot of things come into a surfboard. Like, it's, it can be very complex, right? Yeah. And it's really hard to understand, and it might differ from every type of surfboard. Right, and you're in a, when you're in a beginner, you don't really have to worry too much about it. Uh, but just when you fall in love and you want to learn more about all the little details, and as you progress, you become more uh, of a... An advanced surfer, intermediate plus advanced, uh, you start having to to know these things to make, yeah. you know, to even improve your surf. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like we're gonna break it down, kind of like you break down the human body, right? The arm, the leg, the eye, the nose. Yep. We're kind of do the exact same thing, but for a surfboard. But you have to remember that the core materials of the surfboard have evolved throughout the time, right? It, it first started with like just pieces of. Wood. Logs. Yeah, that's it. There's and then mix. now it's like fiberglass and wood, and then there's like epoxy, yeah. and then there's foam, Clark foam. I mean, like there's all kinds of foams nowadays. It's like the most expensive one, and then the cheaper one, and the so different so type of epoxies. It, it's just mm -hmm. it, it it can be very complex, but just remember that it evolves throughout time. And then from a shaper's point of view, one. That's number one. Number one, from a shaper's point of view, it doesn't matter what it is. The blank surfboard, which they receive like a blank uh, piece of foam. Yeah. And they can make anything out of it. Yeah. And actually, they can just make can even an artwork if they yeah. don't want to make a surfboard, right? It's yeah. just foam. It's uh, you cut into it. You can mold it into whatever you want. So once they get that foam, they can really create whatever you want depending on the foam size, right? Because once you get... Uh, a bigger foam, then you can make a long board or right. a flint shape. If the smaller ones, it would be for a short board and so on and so forth. Yeah, and it could be custom made or it could be, you know, factory made. I call it factory made, but it's not really factory made. It's still custom made. It's just not made specifically for you. Mm -hmm. You kind of find it at a surf shop. Um, it wasn't made for it, it right? Would it be factory made? No, because factory made would mean like it's made by machine. By machine, yeah, no, no. Like um, you just say it's a uh, like pre-manufactured. Pre-manufactured. It's already ready for you. You're not like picking all the details, even though all you can you walk you can. into it, a shop and find the exact, uh, exact oh my God, it's length, width, everything. Yeah, I have I have found that. And it's happened to me. That's how I found my surfboard, my yeah. right dimensions. Right. So. Um, that yeah, can happen, but a lot of the guys out there was definitely pros. They are, they have a shaper, they call them right out, you know, this right off the bat and say, this is what I need. And obviously the shaper bounces ideas back and forth saying, Hey, I was watching your heat and your tail was sinking a little too much and so on. So let's forth, try you know? this. Let's try that. Right. My shaper does that. And again, I am not a shaper, so I, you know, I, I can't really dive into it because I am not a shaper. So I can't. No, but they create the perfect buoyancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. buoyancy. Perfect buoyancy, gravity, drag, power, a uh, lift. Which is going to depend like, on your surf level and your height or your weight, right? All those different things. Depends on what, uh, what type of surfboard you want. Depends for what kind of conditions you want it. Yeah. I have a 
little wave board and then I have my performance board and then I have a step up board. Right. Yeah, have all these words. Well, as you progress and you become a better surfer, you have all these <laughs> different things. That. When you're just starting out, Don't you're, worry not, about it, please. you're not surfing eight foot plus waves because you don't want to die. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> although, you know, a great place to learn, which we've talked about in other podcasts, is um, El Salvador Sunzao. Even an eight foot wave in that place, it's very so mellow. Easy. It just crumbles. You still need to know how to swim. Right, because the white water is still thick, but it's super mellow wave, and it's yeah. It's Unless awesome. you get stuck in the inside, like Lucas did, and you then you do it for fun because it's an adventure, and you just love it. You were yeah. you were thrown into a huge. Well, yeah, I was set up by my <laughs> colleague that went surfing with me, and he's like, "Yeah, go to the right, man." And, and the I set did. came it was... in, and it was not pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was not fun. But anyways. We started a whole fight. Uh, anyway. Moving on to number two is the actual anatomy of the surfboard. Now like we're going to be arm? breaking down. Yeah, we're going to be breaking down exactly yeah, the nose, the tail, and so on. Right? Yeah. So the nose. Let's start with the nose because it's the top part. And it's I think it's the coolest part out of it all. Um, it's the front part of your surfboard. So it's where it peaks. It can be rounded or it can be pointy, pointy. Like an arrow? Yeah, and it's the first 12 inches, actually. So it's actually like a foot long. Yep. The first 12 inches is considered the nose of the surfboard, and it's it has a huge influence on your paddling yes, and your maneuverability. Maneuverability. Yeah. <laughs> maneuverability. Yeah, whatever. It can be high or low. It can be narrow. It can be wide. I mean, like, there's so many different things, but that's the top part of your surfboard where most that you see on tv by the pro surfers that looks like an arrow right it's pointy it's not really round oh i never thought about it that way yeah it's it's not really round like you would arrow. see in a long board or yeah. a fun shape it's yeah. a lot of they'll call it a lot fuller it's a fuller nose exactly you right kind of like if you're leaner you have, might have a little human body really like pointy nose like pinocchio or Maybe you have a little potato nose. And these are human beings I'm talking about, not surfboards. No? Okay. Yeah, like you like, mean, 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 mean. Don't say that. That's people's noses. I'm not being I'm not making fun of it. I'm just talking about different noses. I mean look at there's Tom Cruise nose and then there's Owen Wilson. Is that Owen Wilson's a pro surfer? No. The actor. There's an Owen, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson is an actor. There you go. What is the the surfer? Oh, and right. All right, right, right. So Owen Wilson is back. So there's different noses out there, and it's all good. So anyways, so the nose of the board, just remember, when you're looking at these surfboards, the pro surfers If you have a have. crooked nose like Lucas does, then it's broken. Thanks, El Salvador. Sounds out. Don't say that. We just, we just told people to go there. Yeah, but that freak accidents happen. Right? Anyways, the second part is the tail of your surfboard. Mm -hmm. And now there's so many different shapes of the tail. There's a rounded, there's a square, there's... I mean, he knows more. There's fish. Um, squash. Squash. That's... There was one more. Swallow. Swallow tail. There yeah. you go. And it's the last 12 inches. So the top 12 inches the is nose. your nose. Mm -hmm. And then the last 12 inches is your tail. It's like the booty. Okay. The and it, Yeah. And they... <laughs> And it has a big influence on your speed and maneuverability. That or one. maneuverability. 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 Yes. And it's the tail is like the most important part of the board, really. Right? Because if you press down on the back on the tail, then you can turn harder, and it's yeah. just it, it. And it really depends on what kind of shape of tail you have. And again, th these are things that you would also. And I'm probably going to re 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 ooh, reiterate, reiterate this throughout the whole entire uh, episode is that your shaper will 1000% guide you through it. Way better than what we're doing now. This is right. Just like break just, it down yeah. elementary level and they're going to come in and they're going to like spit everything out perfectly. And you're going to get out the oh my Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. And yeah. they're going to be able to do But And a good thing to do too is... um videotape your surfing if you're looking for a new shaper let them watch a little bit of that because they should care about how you surf uh before they even make you anything, yeah 100 percent. Right? i always send videos yeah next one rails these are the sides of your surfboard what would you think your hip this? line yeah your hip line you have narrow hips do you have wider hips they're like a rounded edge because they go all from the front so to they the would back. not be square 
if you have a square rail, somebody set you <laughs> up and sewed you some Familiar. bogus. Yeah, they set you up and sewed you something and you've just been poked. Yeah, seriously. And this is where the thickness, thick, thickness yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry you guys, mm -hmm. thickness of your surfboard really comes in because it's like the sides. Like, and it, it, it's the entire, from top to, from nose to tail, the entire side is called your rails. Correct, yeah, the rails will go from the tippy top to the bottom. You're always gonna have a rail on your surfboard, no matter what. And it can be more, like she was saying, a little narrow, narrower. It yeah, can be you know, like a little sharper, it can be a little bit rounder. Um, and but it's not, definitely not square. It's definitely not square. And again, depending on how you surf and your level of surfing, you know, a lot of the, the, the really good surfers, they really dig, you'll hear them saying, Dig, dig the rail. rail and again you, you're not going to have a super round bubbly looking uh, rail yeah. for those big sharp turns bottom right. turns especially right. right yeah next one stringer 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 uh not every surfboard has a stringer not nowadays it, it, yeah nowadays it's not as popular uh, like for example coil surfboards coil surfboards a lot of them don't have the stringer that's it's actually kind of yeah it's actually one of the boards that i have oh i thought you broke it no, I did not. No, it did. Um, Somebody broke a coil. Uh, Ian. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, it, so the stringer goes down. It splits your board in the middle, kind of like your spine. Yeah, and it's like a, a perfect being. line. It's a perfect straight width. line from the tippy top of the nose to the mm -hmm. end of the bottom of the tail. And you'll see it, especially if you have a blank surfboard, which is white you're going to see like one piece of wood going up and down. Right. So again, if you're looking at uh, um, Unless you're riding a soft it's not tops easier. don't really have uh, a stringer, right? No, they're plastic. Right. So soft tops don't have a stringer. Yeah. So if you like, you're looking at your bird like, man, I don't have a stringer. It's a soft top. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a soft top. Maybe somebody created one. I don't know, but never seen one. Never seen one. Soft tops, every single one I've seen does not have a stringer. And don't worry about it because it really doesn't, I mean, it does make a difference, but it doesn't make a difference. Um, it really comes into play when you're competing and you're trying to get better and everything like that because there's performance stringers. And the technology out there is so crazy yeah. that, I mean, My uh, what was the name? Uh, CJ Hobgood was surfing a, a board with no stringer. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know? Was, so. Uh, and now Kelly Slater surfs them too. Kelly Slater do? Is his boards are no stringers? Some. Some. So there you go. Um, again, it really depends on your level of yes. expertise and what really you're looking for. Some people want the stringers. Some people don't want the stringers. And it's completely fine. Uh, and it would be, again, your yeah. choice of what you want. But you're looking for that spine of the surfboard where it splits from the nose to the tail. Yeah, and then it increases the strength and reduces the unwanted flexibility of the surfboard. So... You know, the more you have a stringer, the less flexible it's the, gonna the be. board's gonna be, right? And mm -hmm. then the less you have a stringer, the more flexible it's gonna. And be. again, you might not notice that difference if you're not a higher level. I surfer. I didn't notice until like a couple of years you ago. Would, and you would have to try back these to back. different boards back to back to really see the difference, the difference yeah, right? right? A lot of times you don't notice these things, so no, just you don't. try to pay attention to that. If yeah. you get a chance to try these. So the deck of a surfboard, the deck of a surfboard is literally the top of the surfboard. Um, there's not really much to say. It's, this is where you flat. lay down on. Yeah, this correct? is where you lay right. down you on. Put your this belly is where you stand. Chest. It's typically wax. I hope that yours is wet. Right, and nowadays too, a lot of people will put the, um, track the track pads on the whole entire board or mainly where they put their back foot and their front foot. Yeah. So again, that is all preferences of what you want to do. Of course. And then the bottom of your surfboard, which is called bottom of surfboard, yeah. <laughs> it's literally the bottom and it's where it touches and rests on the water. So this is the part where it it's glides. gliding. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then again... Uh, depending on the bottom of your surfboard, you might have um, certain concaves where it's... We're going to talk about it. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> Break that down now. Yeah. Then when you go to the bottom of the surfboard, all Closer the way by the, the tail, tail, there's the fence plug. Now, this can be different from every kind of surfboard. Um, 
There's different brands of pins plug. There's different types. There's different sizes. I mean, like, it's usually two holes, and then for each fin, and um, and like screws. But nowadays, with like future fins and FCS two fins, it's two holes, but you don't need screws. And then for a longboard, it's one big slice. Um, right, and you might not even have. Depending on your board and who's shaped and how old it is and your style, you might buy a board that doesn't even have a fin plug because they're glass on fins. So think about they already that. Have fins, huh? If they're glass on fins, means they're fully built onto the board. You won't even see those. So don't freak out. That means your board is just a glass on fin. Yeah, hundred percent. So it really depends on the brand. Like I like to ride FCS two fins. Lucas rides FCS one just because it's older. Um, my brothers like future fins. I mean, it really it depends on which kind of fins you like. But yeah, it really it, doesn't matter. No, honestly. it doesn't. You gave me a board with whatever fins set up. I'll take it because it was free. Yeah, I have one, <laughs> one board with future fins actually. Okay. When you go to the front of the surfboard now, so you go on the deck and you go all the way by the tail at the bottom, the last ten, twelve inches, there's a little hole with a like piece of metal. That's your. Uh, leash plug. Yeah, it's like a little plastic piece with a little metal piece in the middle, like it's, a little mini tiny. bar. Yep. yep, where you attach your leash. leash. Right? You attach this the rope of the leash. It's a rope. It's like a paracord type of yeah. material. I thought you know? it was an a. You attach the rope and then you attach your leash to it. It's really simple. Right. Also, you may see some long boards that don't have this at all. It also depends on the shaper and the person surfing because some people that long board don't even like don't to like wear it. a leash. So they won't even have a fin, um, a leash plug on it because they don't wear leashes. So there's no point of having that. Now, whether it has it or not, it's not going to change no. the way you surf no, no, no. The, the surfboard. It's just no. not, right? No. It just depends on what board it is and what exactly you are looking for. Yeah, 100%. Now the outline is literally the shape of the surfboard, um, and then the foil. So that's the rate of thickness from the nose to the tail. That's like way over. Way beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> way beyond me too. Okay? The only foil I use is for cooking, and it's tin foil. Oh my god. That's just the truth. Okay, let's move on. Your favorite part, the rocker and the concave. Well, not my favorite part, but you um, talk about it often. well, it's just okay. So uh, the rocker would be by your nose, right? So say you're looking at your surfboard, and the and it's just put it flat on the floor, right, with the deck up. Remember we talked about that. The deck is up where you would be mm -hmm. standing. Act like the floor is the water, and you're paddling on it, and you're gonna be looking really low by the floor line, and when. Uh, the, the 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 board comes up to the nose of so those twelve inches. The higher it goes up, the that more rocker you have. the more rocker you have. Okay, and again, more performance boards have these rockers on the board. Right? Yes, and then the concave is the oh. channel of water at the bottom of your board. So if there's like little holes by your tail, it looks at like stream paths kind of thing. Yeah, you know? it kind of does. Yeah. And um, a lot of them, it, it can go throughout the middle of the board, but it also can go by the tail. Yeah. So you'll look at different yeah. setups like that. Yeah, it's different. And it, it kind of like lets the water flow through it a little bit more. Yes, yes. Which again, that is something to talk to your shaper about. My boards don't We're have any of that crazy stuff. This. Obviously it has a concave and a rocker, but it doesn't have multiple concaves. And some, some people, people will swear by five. different ones and they'll know everything about it, why and how it feels better. Those are the people we talk about. Obviously, shapers should all know that because that's their job. Yeah, hundred percent. And then now we're gonna move into like third part the, would be the dimensions. Yeah, just the dimension terms, like what what they're called. So the length of your surfboard is obviously how long it is. How tall it would be, right? Yes, and it's measured in feet and inches from tail to nose. Right. So when you look at a longboard, it says nine o. You know, it's nine feet tall, or if it's right. Uh, fun shapes like seven two whatever then it's seven, seven feet, feet two, two inches. inches. Yep. Yes, hundred percent. Pretty simple. Yes, right? it is. And then there's the width of your surfboard, which is measured from rail to rail at its widest point. Right. So usually, like right in the middle of the board. Right, and you'll see the board like you'll say um, 
Let's go back to the seven feet two inches. Well, that's not wide because good Lord, then it's a boat. Um, so that's the length of it. Then you'll see an X, right? It'll say times. times. And it'll say, for example, 22. Oh. We're going to say 18.3. Well, that would be a very narrow, uh, but yeah, very performance. 22.3. Right. That would be your width from rail to rail, from rail at to the rail. widest point. Correct. And then it'll say times 2.5. And that would be your thickness. Thick thickness. Can't say that word today. It'll be your thickness from the bottom of your deck to the top, to the deck of, um, from the bottom of your surfboard mm -hmm. to the deck of your surfboard at its thickest point. Too. Correct. 100%. And it's measured all in inches and feet, but feet really only counts for the length. And again, these are things that 1000% you'd be talking to with your um, shaper, shaper about it. Your local surf shop, they'll help you out, find the right one for you. And again, if you're a beginner, you're not looking for a 5, 8, a 5, 9, right? 5 feet, 9 inches, 5 feet, 10 inches. You're just not because you need to start with more volume so you learn how to be stable on the surfer. So that's very important. We've seen, unfortunately, surf shops set, it's selling to a beginner. Well, And the problem, too, is a lot of the times is the beginner. They're like, oh, well, I want this board. Well, I want this board. And, but it's not the and best the, the thing shop, for you. The surf shop, usually, they try to help you out as much as possible. But if you, you're set on one board, they can't help you. Right. But, and they're going to sell you that one surfboard. Then you're going to go back and go, like, man, I can't stand that, up that on this. That doesn't work. Like, and yeah, that's we because, try to warn you. right, you, you went, I want to have the same board as Kelly Slater, Felipe Toledo, and so on. Well, he just got beat by the Italian guy, so. He did? Yeah. Well, miracles happen anywhere in the world, you know? Yeah. So, go Italy. At least you guys made it in the surf heat because you, they didn't make it to the World Cup. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I mean, you're talking to a Brazilian and a French person, so... <laughs> But Italians are amazing in we soccer. We love you guys. Yes. It's just, you know, we it have a, a little... The truth is the truth. A little love affair or whatever yeah, it's not called. Not a love affair or whatever, an animosity. <laughs> it's okay. It's all great. Guys, again... We went from surfing to soccer. Which is okay. Oh, my God. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this episode. We'll um, be back next week. Price promise. Yes. Don't forget to like, to share, to comment. If you guys have any questions, you guys can email us. Surftraining.com um, at gmail. Yes. If you want to uh, progress in your surfing fitness, if you want to paddle stronger, if you want to be faster, if you want to be more explosive. Comment yes in the comments and we'll contact you. And we'll contact you. And also, we have a free Facebook group specific for surf fitness which is what we do so you guys are completely absolutely free you can just ask to join that and we will accept you in and we look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode yes sir boom See you guys next week